power forward position. And for the Hawks, the talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Onyeka Kongwu is out there with Javante Green. And it's Ryan in at the three. You look at Atlanta. Pass to Irving. Takes a three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. Yeah, no question. He is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor. It is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. To the paint. Iverson. Oh, it's blocked by Green. And they'll keep possession. Young with the double team. Second chance shot. Kenny takes it up and lays it in. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. The drive by Irving. And he banks in the layup. Irving's got his second basket on the night. And three for four to start. Showing some rhythm. Young, the pass to Murray. Shot to stop the run. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Here's Embiid. The rebound by Murray. You're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Sends it home from three-point land. A tough matchup for the smaller defender there. Just shot right over the top without thinking twice. Throws it down despite a man right in his face. Opportunity here to make it a three-point play. And after putting it down, he angles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. For Atlanta, they've called one of four to begin this one. It's stolen by Maxi. Irving with it. And it's Young picking him up to the middle. Maxi, basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. And this first quarter has been ridiculous. They simply can't miss right now. Pass to Okongwu. Outside Murray. Got it from about 16 feet. Defensively, you're trying to prevent DeJounte from getting to the rim. But he can counter. That mid-range becomes dead. And then Embiid with the dunk. Huge size disadvantage for the defense. Might as well just get out of the way. Young, the pass to Green. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Young, the pass to Okongwu. Back to Young. Trains the triple. Undeniable range. Young is going to pull up the moment he gets any angle out there. Tries the 10-footer, and so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Onyeka Kangwu. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. Atlanta's gone two for three from outside the arc. Not watching the line there. So it'll be a backcourt violation. And looking at these playoffs so far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. Number one, Trey Young. Maxi against Young. Pass to McGinnis. Here's Iverson. Embiid inside. He's against Murray. Embiid gets the bucket. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Murray, shot is good. Great focus from Murray, just looking through the contest, keeping his eye on the prize. For three, Maxi. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Green with a screen on Maxi. And there's Green on the assist from Young. 
Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow. Ah, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Young finds a Kongwu, and here is Green. Another three for Atlanta. We don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And Maxie's got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They lead by 11. Philadelphia calls timeout. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Pass to McGinnis. Embiid inside, guarded by Akangu, and the basket by Embiid. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. And Young, here we go. And Embiid with the block. Yeah, imposing his will. Embiid sending a message with that rejection. And now the Hawks on the break. And Murray launches it from deep. There's the triple. Gets the three ball to go. Murray's got eight. Philadelphia has gone two of two at the perimeter. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Embiid. And again, it's Philadelphia. Only in quarter number one. He's put in four out of five. Great start. Outside, Green. Murray for three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. That's a strong finish from Tobias Harris. There's Young with the three. And at the buzzer, counted. Just textbook. Kept his cool and waited for his shot. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. And so it's Philadelphia. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. More NBA. And time for us to get back into it here in game one. Boy, the 76ers at the top of their game, huh? Yeah, showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage. They controlled the boards in the first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. We've got Bogdan Bogdanovich. Alexei Pokashevsky is out there with Joe Harris. Then it's Corey Joseph. And it's a Kongwu in at the center position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Shot from the top of the key. It's hauled in by Pokashevsky. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Harris misses. The Sixers leading. Pass to Harris. Down low. And Harris throws it down. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's a Kongwu. That shot is off. So it's Philadelphia now. Here's Collins. Rejected by a Kongwu. For three, here's Harris. He's now one for two with that bucket. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Here's Fox. Pass to Iverson. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Here's a Kongwu. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. A tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra impressive defense out there. Irving's checked in for the Sixers. Here's Irving. Five points in the game. Releases from 15. That one's wide left. 
inside Bogdanovich. Here's Pokashevsky. Three-pointer, no good for Philadelphia. They've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Harris misses. Atlanta has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Bogdanovich passes to Joseph. Beyond the arc. Bogdanovich, no good. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Shot on the wing. And that one's good. Joseph. Joseph has got his first two points. And Poku with the processing speed just got rid of that one quick. Iverson passes to McGinnis. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Bogdanovich has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And Irving powers it home. I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense paid. Oh, yes, sir! Oh, wow. Wow. And this is good for Koku, being able to take contact and still get the job done. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Gotta feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. The top scorers in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard. Second is Joel Embiid. DeJounte Murray third. Seems like these two can always find points, no matter what big game pressure they're playing under. Irving, the pass to Walton. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Back to Embiid. Rejected by Akamu. Bogdanovich from long range. Another three for Atlanta. Bogdanovich has such a nice repeatable motion on his perimeter game. Beautiful three ball there. Here's Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Team set. The first free throw is good. Molding himself into one of the most dominant centers in the league, Embiid has really come into his own. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Here's Joseph. And the Hawks with another three. Man, he didn't have a ton of room to get that shot off. That's the kind of shooter he is. Pass to Embiid. Here's Iverson. Goes up from the top of the key. Okongwu with the rebound. The Hawks have gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Bogdanovich from long range. Another three for Atlanta. And Bogdanovich, a three-point specialist, loves those corners. Here's Walton. Defended by Bogdanovich. Impede from outside. It's hauled in by Pokashevsky. Pokashevsky's got four rebounds now. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Iverson. Driving inside, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him. Surprising in a close game. A lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Joseph passes to Pokashevsky. That three's off the mark. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. MB, good. Without missing a beat, MB gets the shot up. And that's the work of an assertive offensive player. Pass to Harris. Back to Joseph. Shoots over Maxi. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Joseph has got seven now in this quarter. One second left. 
No good. And so it's Bogdan Bogdanovich making things happen for the Hawks. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks. I'm here with Trey Young. Trey, it was a slow start, but you guys did bounce back. What changed? Uh, I think you're just getting back into the rhythm, getting, uh, getting into the action, being aggressive. I think that was the main thing. Uh, we got to go out and compete and do what we do. Thanks, Trey. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And thank you for joining us. Two quarters in the books and a game one deficit for the Philadelphia 76ers. They're playing that big boy ball going right to the chest of the defenders, making their presence felt on the interior. And we know that style of play is near and dear to your heart, big fella. Checking out how the Hawks are doing in this series. The conference finals. Big fella, do you expect these teams to pull out all the stops? No. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to the Eastern Conference Finals, presented by 2K Sports. The Hawks leading. So, on the floor for Philadelphia, they've got Joel Embiid. And it's Walton in at the power forward. There's Young with the three. Knocks down the long J. Young's got his third basket of the night. Trey's so dynamic in the pick and roll. He runs that set as well as anyone in the lead. Pass to Embiid. Over a Kongwu. Embiid. Good. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Murray, no good. And for the 76ers, they're shooting very well. 66% for the game and looking really strong. Here's Pokashevsky. Rips down the breakaway slam. And that break started at the hands of DeJounte Murray with the steal. Second half getting started. About a minute play. Pass to Walton. And here's Embiid. Guarded by Okongwu. Nice job, Embiid. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. And they recover it. The Hawks have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. They kick it out to Murray. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got three assists now in this one. against Young. Right side, Maxi. Up top, Embiid. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The drive by Murray. Murray can't get that one to fall. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Maxi, that's good. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Outside Murray. Murray can't get that one to fall. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. On fire to start the second half. Four or five from the field. Young from long range. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Collins, he's checked in for Tyrese Maxey. What growth from DeJounte Murray since coming into the league. Started as a role player, turned himself into an all-star. Shoots from 12. No good off the back of the rim. Atlanta's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. From 17. Damn, that one's good. 
Murray's got eight points here in the quarter. Tough part about defending Murray is he can beat you in so many ways. You want him to shoot threes, but right now, he's showing it all. Here's Iverson, guarded by Young. Five on the clock. And the powerful one-handed slam. Man, when you're down, you want him taking it hard to the rack. Get those points and fire up this team. Nice trade. So good. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Well, oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Lukashevsky with it. Seven points in the game. Back to Murray. Shoots over Collins. And the Hawks tack on two more. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous right now. Every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Atlanta? Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them. They're locked in. That outside shot going, it's a big difference maker. And the shot's good by Irving. Irving's got 12. Atlanta's gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Young finds Prince. And stolen by Irving. He goes up. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And he knocks down the first one. Two shots. And he can't hit the second. The Hawks have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Young from long range. And the Hawks with another three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Prince from deep three-point land. Okashevsky, the pass to Prince. Just five on the clock. Ooh, power down with both hands. That's just too easy for Torrey and Prince. The 76ers have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Shots good by Iverson. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Young, the pass to Pokashevsky. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. I'd like to see that from Trey directing traffic, getting a good result there on the pick and roll. And so it's Atlanta in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're shooting at such a high clip. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. The talented duo of Young and Murray on the backcourt. Prince is out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. And it's a Kongwu in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Collins passes to McConnell. Here's McGinnis. Over Prince. McGinnis, no good. He wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let him get that good of a look. Teachable moment there, lapses like this are backbreakers. Pass to Collins. 
Young against McConnell. From 10 feet away. The rebound by the Hawks. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Now here's Young. Another three for Atlanta. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Timeout called the 76ers. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Irving comes in for Fox. And it's Maxi in for McConnell. Maxi against Young. Pass to Embiid. To the left side wing. Prince against Maxi. That one drops for him. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Here's a Kong Wu. There's Young with the three. Good! Another from three. And he's letting it fly from long range. It's a devastating effect. And has now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. Here's Maxi. The rebound by the Hawks. Okashevsky's got 11 rebounds in the game. There's Young with the three. Connects again from distance. And talk about stepping up. He's having a playoff game these fans have never seen. And that last triple means he's got the most threes in a single playoff game in franchise history. Here's Atlanta with the ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. They kick it out to Murray. And the Hawks with another three. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. And Philadelphia calls time here. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Trey Young. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Man, he was really impressive in that win. Setting the tone right from the start, taking this one by storm. Here's Maxi. Pass to Harris. Embiid with it. Guarded by a Kongwu. Now Maxi. Now Embiid, guarded by Okongwu. Embiid misses. For Atlanta, they've gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Young, the pass to Okongwu. Fires for three. And it's Harris with the rebound. The 76ers have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Embiid inside. Okongwu on him. Rejected by Okongwu. Young finds Prince. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got assist number five here tonight. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Embiid is screen on Murray. The Sixers with another miss. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Really controlling it. An 18-2 run here. Young from long range. And again for three. The three's coming fast and furious. He is scorching the nets. Yes, and now tied for the third most three-point field goals in a single game in playoff history. The yeah, 10 triples equals Dame Lillard's buzzer-beating performance in 2019 when he waved goodbye to the Thunder. And they got to be happy with how they are starting off these conference fun. Connects again from distance. He's putting on a shooting exhibition that has left this entire arena in awe. And you know he finds himself tied for second place all time in three-point makes for a playoff game. Yeah, equaling Game 6 Clay, who buried OKC back in 2016 with 11 triples. Here's Young. 
There's 39 seconds left in the final quarter. No good with the triple. And it's the Sixers for the ball. For three, Maxi hits a three-pointer. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Young can't hit. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. And he commits the intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. 15 seconds left in the game. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Irving. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Young from long range. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Here's Iverson. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. And really, any win is a big win here in the postseason. Yeah, every game counts now, and there's no second chances. So they must be pleased with the results. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Trey, in order to come back from that double-digit deficit, what did you have to focus on? Well, I mean, this is the NBA. I mean, it's a long game, and uh, coach just telling us to keep fighting, keep pushing, and shots were, were going to start falling, and uh, we stepped to the plan that he gave us with the pregame. It was a great team effort. Thanks, Trey. Allie, thank you as always. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. Now our New Balance player of the game, Trey Young.